So the science world is buzzing about what could be a major discovery. Scientists in both the U.S. and Europe may have finally caught their first glimpse of what's known as the God particle, what's thought to be a basic subatomic particle. Possible proof of its existence was provided by the so-called Big Bang machines. These are massive 17 or 18 mile long particle accelerators built deep underground near Geneva, Switzerland, and in Illinois. So exactly what is the God particle, and what would confirmation of its, of its existence after decades of searching actually mean? Joining me now is Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Derek, it's good to see you. So a lot of people, this is going to grab their attention. Explain to us, what is the God particle, and why is it called that? Well, the God particle actually is what's known as a Higgs boson, and it is the only one of the particles predicted by the standard model of physics that hasn't been discovered yet. And this is a really crucial piece because this is the one particle that uh, scientists believe will help us understand some very basic things about the universe, as you said. But one of the most basic ones is that we don't really understand why particles have mass. And so it's hoped that by discovering this particle, we might be able to figure out that as well as figure out some things about the early history of the universe, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Derek, tell us more about these so-called Big Bang machines. Uh, these are the uh, machines 17, 18 miles long in Geneva, Switzerland, and in Illinois. So the Higgs boson, this particle known as the God particle, is a very, very heavy particle. And what I mean by heavy, in terms of what we know of, is pretty light. But in terms of atomic physics, it really is. It's 120 times heavier than a proton is. So what these machines do is they accelerate protons up to near the speed of light. Then they smash these things together, and they create other exotic particles. Now, in these exotic particles, we expect to be able to find these elusive ones, like the Higgs boson. Part of the reason why it's called the God particle is because some physicists say that if we can discover this particle and understand it, we might be able to understand some about how God thought about putting together the universe, so to speak. But it really comes from Leon Letterman, who used it to describe how difficult it was to identify this uh, particle, and he connected the word God with another word that I won't mention here. Uh, well, when we talk about the, uh, I guess, amazement of scientists feeling that they're actually close to discovering this, talk about a time frame, though, that when they can really actually say definitively they've figured this out. So here's the tricky part. The tricky part is that what scientists have seen is a bump in the data from two different experiments looking for the particle. Now that bump could be an indication that there actually is something there indicating that this particle exists, but it also could mean that there's a flaw in the data, a flaw in the equipment. So what has to happen now is that the physics community, tens of thousands of physicists, have to review this information and they all have to come to an agreement that this is what's going on. It it could take several months. It could take several years. We could identify this as a flaw pretty quickly. This is not the first time it's happened. This has happened a number of times mm -hmm. before. We expect it to continue to happen until we actually get confirmation. All right, Derek, great to see you today. Thanks for your time.